happen if we try to launch a dude with a rocket? Sayonara! Took on squishing the unsquishable? Giant soda can versus giant foot crush! A giant skateboard and try to roll a shrunken dude! Oh boy, oh boy! Get ready for takeoff! Crazy and cool at the same time. He thinks of stuff you'd never really come up with. Victorious! I describe Jackson as funny, wild, and totally nuts. CJ is the ultimate in cool. He pushes everything to its limit, whereas I just want to see stuff explode. if it would be possible to make someone fly with a rocket. Like in cartoons, where a rocket is launched and a dude is attached to it by a rope and it's pulled into the air. Can that really happen? Now that is a mind-blowing question. A flying rocket dude? Okay, guys, raise your hand if you think it's possible. Aha! I knew it, a lone naysayer. Hold on, hold on. I'm not saying that it can't work. I'm just not sure if it will work. Dude, think about it. A dude being pulled by a rocket on a rope? It defies all the laws of physics and gravity and all those other sciencey things. Enough with your sciencey mumbo jumbo naysayer, man. Dude, what would happen if we tried to launch a cartoon dude with a rocket? If you want to launch a dude with a rocket like in cartoons, you need two things. A cannon to be the launcher, check, and somebody plotting an evil scheme to be the launchee. In this case, a big dummy. Double check. Check it out. There's Boris, the evil guy. He is evil. Hence the mustache. Check it out. Check it out. He's on a break for five, five minutes. minutes. So All we right. kind of got to do this. Plenty quick. of time. Totally. Here's how it's going down. This right here is an eight-foot rocket. Now, we're going to take this bad boy, load it up into this air cannon, point it up at a 35-degree angle, and shoot it out into the ravine at 250 miles an hour. Now, attached to the rocket is this rope right here. And as you can see, the other end is tied to Boris, who weighs in at an evil 150 pounds. Question is, once we launch the rocket, will Boris be pulled along for the ride? Only one way to find out. Lab dudes, load the rocket. Dude, this is the ultimate cartoon stunt. I've been watching this since I was like two years old, and I always wonder where they filmed it. Right here. Right here. Right now. There's no way he'll fly. This rocket doesn't have enough force to pull a cartoon dummy that weighs 150 pounds. Boris is gonna weigh down the rocket, and it'll only go like 10 feet. This has to work. That rocket has to pull Boris all the way across the valley to bring his scheming ways to an end. This isn't an experiment. This is a showdown. to the sky. We did it. The blast had enough force to launch the rocket with Boris attached. I know he's evil and all, but it was okay. I had my doubts, but Boris completely took off and his evil schemes have been foiled. That was amazing. Where is he? Where is he? Right, there he is. Boris! Dude, check him out. Look at his yoga position. Dude, what is that, like the backwards bend? This is called the backwards. I just got slammed 855 Whoa. feet by a rocket. Flying dummies are awesome. Dude, what would happen if we tried to launch a cartoon dude with a rocket? <laughs> Welcome to Boris Airlines. Squishing. Dude, you're like a monster in one of those late night movies with the monstrous feet that squish everything in sight. I love to squish stuff. And whatever happens to be under my foot is gonna get flattened. I hate to break it to you, but not everything under your foot can be crushed, no matter how hard you try. Oh, really? Really. Oh, really? Oh, really? 
I beg to differ. So I challenge you, sir. What would happen if we had a crush off? Gentlemen, for this crush off to go down, we have three life size styrofoam cups behind us that we're gonna try and squish to the maximum. We have a lifted platform that's 15 feet high that's gonna help us come down on these cups. All right, now, gentlemen, the rules are very simple. Whoever squishes this cup the most will have effectively squished the unsquishable. I'll be starting it off. All right, let's move ours out of the way. I'm taking this. I'm jumping feet first on the base of the cup and I'm letting gravity do the rest. Total crush action. Cup, any last words before I squish you? Yeah, you're not gonna squish me. Three, two, two one. Crush, crush it! it. <laughs> Is it crushed? Zero crush. Ali, you just fell through the cup. Let me show you both how it's done. Oh! I'm about to showcase my belly flop, full frontal, giant cup crushing technique. I'm about to jump with my cup and squish it from the side. Amaze us! Will do. Three, two, one, squish! Squishing is about. I told you I was gonna squish it. It felt like every regular size styrofoam cup that I've ever crushed all just compiled into one giant squish. To beat this, Jackson, you gotta squish your cup completely. All right, guys, so this is how it's about to go down. I will jump out, hovering over the cup with my body in the starfish position. So by spreading my body weight like a starfish, I'll be able to crush the cup from top to bottom, especially since I kept the lid on my cup. Oh, oh, he kept the lid on. Then I should have thought of that. I need to get in the mind frame of a starfish. A starfish? This is gonna get weird. <laughs> Me. You do not mess with the starfish. Jackson won, but watching him starfish like that was so worth the loss. Starfish! Man! Guys, every kid likes to smash soda cans, but it's so easy. Effortless. But how about a giant one? Let's do it! Ah! Ooh. Dude, what would happen if we tried to crush a giant soda can? Squishing a can, dude, that is a no-brainer. I mean, there's a can, there's your foot, boom, you squish it. But what would happen if you have a giant can? This 12-foot soda can is made of one-inch thick aluminum, and it's filled with 200 gallons of soda for even more density. And to crush a giant soda can, what do you need? A giant foot, of course. Well, we've got one. This thing is 3,000 pounds of pure footage. Now this giant foot is gonna be dropped from 50 feet by a crane to see if it can completely crush it. Let's get to stepping. Jackson, what do you think's gonna happen? If you were to shrink these things down like minus like 300, it would perfectly be our feet and a perfect soda can. So the exact same thing is gonna happen. It's just gonna crush. I get what Jackson is saying, but he's forgetting this can is full of 200 gallons of soda and nobody crushes cans when they're full. That liquid may as well be a solid. That foot isn't gonna have enough weight or momentum from the drop to completely crush it. Let's get to our safety position. All right, let's do it. So right now, the lab dudes are raising the 3,000 pound foot. It's gonna drop on this 12 foot can that is an inch thick that has 200 gallons of soda in it. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. Boy. Coming up, we roll tiny as mice in search of a cheesy snack. Oh boy. And then get even tinier for one gigantic skateboard ride. Here come the pins, boys. It's gonna be huge.
you're trying to squish a 200 gallon soda can filled with soda by dropping a 3,000 pound foot on it off a crane. Hopefully, that can will completely go splash. All right, you guys ready? Yeah! All right, three, two, one! Giant fly! got flat. It got so much speed that when it landed, soda went everywhere. Through the can, through the soda, foot destroyed in the process. It came down and then all of a sudden, oh, oh. dude, the can is no more. You the can what? is definitely Dude, but no neither more. is the foot. I think dude. this is another reason why you should not try and crush cans with a bare foot. The soda can got completely crushed, but it was still a can. Dudes, what if we tried to squish something bigger, stronger, and even tougher than a giant can and just totally tried to flatten it? Like what? A statue? No, dude, a car! Exactly. And what do we squish a car with? An even bigger car! For the ultimate crush off, we're gonna try to crush a car by dropping an even bigger car on it from a crane. And to raise the stakes, we're gonna add 50 gallons of pancake mix to the bottom car. Breakfast will soon be served. Dude! What would happen if we tried to pancake a car? Here's what's gonna go down. The lab dudes have hooked up that white truck to that crane right there. We're gonna pick it up 60 feet and drop it on that red car. Boom, and as soon as it lands, pancake batter will go everywhere, in theory, and we will hopefully squish the unsquishable. Okay, dudes, I'm going with the slam boing theory. Between the strength of the red car and the 50 gallons of pancake mix inside it, the truck is just gonna hit and then bounce off with minor crush residue. Slam boing! Guys, no matter what happens, this is gonna be insane. Oh, yeah. Let's get the lab dudes to lift this truck up and let's pancake a car, shall we? Let's, let's go! Do it! Dude, this truck is gonna be dropped from 60 feet in the air. This is gonna be insane. All right, are you guys ready? I'm ready! Three! Two, one, bang When that truck release, it started gaining speed fast, then it hit. Boom! Flattened red car and pancakes for everyone. <laughs> Pancake batter everywhere. This was crazy. The car was flattened. Pancake barrels popped, sending pancake everywhere. Total smash. This car is oh, squished. Look at this. That's all batter right there, baby. I, from here on forth, decree all the things that we once pronounced unsquishable, well, now they're very, very squishable. Dude, what would happen if we had a crush off? Me. <laughs> Jackson crushes it. Dude, what would happen if we tried to crush a giant soda can? Soda pops. And dude, what would happen if we tried to pancake a car? Oh! Breakfast of champions. Guys, how awesome would it be to live as tiny dudes? Like in sci-fi movies. Like if we shrank ourselves. That would be totally crazy. We could run around as tiny dudes and do whatever we wanted. But how would we live? How would we even eat? I got it. You know what's really tiny and manages to survive? What? Mice! Oh, and yeah. somehow they always manage to find cheese. And I bet we could too. Dude, what would happen if we tried to snatch cheese from a mouse trap? Cheese! Cheese! Whoa! Fellow vermin, oh, we have been shrunken down to mouse size. And we're gonna attempt to eat like mice by snatching cheese off a regular sized mousetrap, which is now huge to us. Wait, wait, shh, shh, shh. You hear that? Oh, that was my stomach. For that hungry mouse stomach of yours, tantalizing cheese set atop the most difficult conundrum in the vermin world. This, my friends, is a mousetrap which we will have to overcome if we're gonna get any cheese. We're gonna try and get cheese off this mousetrap without getting caught. The cheese is on a platter, and the slightest nudge could set off the trap. Who's going first? Oh, I am. Greedy vermin. Time to get cheesy. Do your mouse thing. I got this. First of all, I'm sneakier than CJ the mouse, and Jackson, 
He isn't even a mouse. He's a big clumsy rat. I'm gonna get all that cheese and get off that trap before that clamp comes down. No worries. Don't let your greed get the best of you. I'm ready. Be careful, watch out for your ears. Watch out for your ears. Watch it, man. Watch out for your tail. That cheese smells so good. Careful. 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 Patience. Patience. Watch out. Yeah. Careful of the sharp cheddar. I have to be really careful here. The minute I pull the cheese off the lever, the trap will spring. So I'm going to carefully stack all the cheese and then make a run for it. Greedy. But hey, I'm a mouse. Oh boy, the pepper jack could be a heartbreaker. Well, he really is the greedy mouse. Whoa! He's gonna let his greed get the best of him. Silence! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! We've shrunk ourselves like mice to see if we could snatch cheese off a giant mouse trap. Ollie is up first. Oh boy, oh boy! Cheese, I ran, I was almost out, and then, wham! Ollie, you got the cheese out, but your tail got caught in the trap, so no cheese for you. I lost my tail and my cheese? Yes. You're as bad as a cat. CJ, you're up next. Ollie triggered the trap by being too greedy, so instead, I'm gonna try taking fewer pieces of cheese. Don't try to limbo. He's limboing. Oh. He's gonna try to limbo. Watch for your ears. Watch for your ears. Why is he using the one-eye technique? He's acting like this is a game. CJ's plan is to grab one cheese at a time, in and out. So I can hit the cheeses. Which one is he gonna go for, dude? I don't know. He's Maybe the event. The, the weight shift is always now! He's caught! Even taking just one piece set off the trap. This mouse trap is no joke. Now it's Jackson the Rat's turn. It's a sad day for mice everywhere. Jackson! You say rats are more intelligent than mice? Show us what you got. Check this out. Scanning. Oh, he's got the brick of cheddar. Those mice had the completely wrong strategies. I'm gonna show them why rats are at the top of the filthy vermin food chain. What's he gonna do, grab it and run like I did? Waiting to see. Grab, he's moved. He's moved it. Be careful. The activation might just snap. He's keeping his foot on the pad for pressure. He's moved the cheese off and is standing in its place. His weight is counterbalancing the cheese's weight. Uh-oh, proceed to check out. He did it! Wow! <laughs> you see that? Yeah! I'm out! I got all my cheese and the mouse trap didn't even touch me. You, my rat friend. Amazing, you got all that cheese, you got off the trap, and you still got your tail intact. Thank you. I really felt like I just represented for all the rats over the world. Dudes, if we were tiny shrunken dudes, everything else would be big. I mean, real big. Dude, tell me about it. All of our favorite things would be super sized, like our beds, our skateboards, our books. Wait, wait, stop. What, what was that one? Bed. No, 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 boring. After that, books. Before that, skateboard. Yes, exactly, dude. Imagine that. Tiny little dude trying to ride a giant skateboard. How cool would that be? Form of tiny skateboard dudes. Now, we've all seen dudes get shrunk down in movies, and that's exactly what's happened to Ollie Jackson and myself. I mean, look at this fire hydrant. This thing is actual size. I'm just shrunk right now. Now, the three of us need to figure out a way to get ourselves unshrunk, but the path to unshrunken freedom is paved with obstacles that we wouldn't even think twice about in the regular size world. So how are we gonna get through them? We're gonna smash through them on this bad boy. A giant skateboard. Dude, what would happen if we tried to ride a giant skateboard? This right here is a giant oh. skateboard that the three of us are gonna ride and try and get through all of these obstacles on our way to freedom. Now, if we successfully crash through all these obstacles, we'll be met with the boat launch. Which is actually a small curb. Right. And we'll go down and into a huge puddle, which looks like a lake, yeah. and we'll swim onto a toy boat, and that'll take us to Dudlandia, a place where we will be turned back to regular size. All right, all right. hop aboard. <laughs> you guys want to see me hang 10? We may have a giant skateboard, but those are giant obstacles. We're going to have to get enough speed to ram our way to freedom. Say goodbye to being mini. 
Since our shrunken legs won't reach the ground, we're gonna need a little push from the lab dudes to get us started. Three, two, one, unshrink! a stop sign with a soldier guarding it. The sign says stop, but we're gonna go. But is oh that a stop? Oh, oh, we are not gonna go. Go. We we to go. go. That was awesome. The skateboard took out the toy soldier and stop sign. A couple more of these and we're back to regular size. Target annihilated. Here come the pins, boys. Try. Uh, Bowling pins are down. Up next is the breakfast cereal. Cereal. Right. So the boat, guys! Here comes the puddle! Time to stop the shrinkage, guys! That was so rad! That skateboard was going so fast, and then it just dumped us into that puddle. Dude, we were sent flying! That was, that was so rad, but now it's time to get big again! We did it! We made it to the boat, and now we're off to Dude Landia. Goodbye, shrunken dude world. Freedom. All right, let's do it. Regular size dudes, here we come. Dude, what would happen if we try to snatch cheese from a mousetrap? Oh! <laughs> what sneaky rat. And dude, what would happen if we tried to ride a giant skateboard? Time to stop the drinking, guys! Skate splash. So today, we learned that with a rocket, even a dummy can fly. <laughs> <laughs> that with enough squish, anything can go splat. Here come the pins, boys! And that tiny dude's breakfast can kick it big time. 